Hey, what is up gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and yes, we definitely need to get more into DLSS 4 and some of the benefits. We are going to take a quick look at Red Dead Redemption 2 in this video, and I gotta tell you, like, some of the things are very similar to the old CNN model, and but there are a few, you know, things that are, are decent. Now, I need to mention this again. I know I mentioned in the last two videos, but trying to understand, you know, the override feature and stuff like that is very confusing to a lot. And I do understand that it is confusing because it's not going to work for all games. And if you have a check mark such as this for Red Dead Redemption 1 on frame generation, it's not going to give you an override option. Um, the same with, uh, let's see, is there like uh, what's another game that has the DLSS uh, 4 already in it? I think uh, Silent Hill is one. Let's see, let's look at Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2. Okay, now if you see you have a check mark here, and I use this little thing, super resolution, you're not going to be able to see this in your uh, control panel here. Just like it has frame generation for me. Um, if I have a Starfield, it will take a look at Starfield real quick. Okay, now you see I have frame generation that has the, the uh, regular check mark. So it already has it supported in the game. So when you go to uh, your app here, you see frame generation unsupported. Why does it say? It says it does not support this feature. But a lot of people are mistaking this for that it doesn't support frame gen. That is not the case here. That just means that the override feature is not supported. That's why you have the check mark. The check mark says it's already in the game. You do not need to use override. A lot of people are confusing this over new override feature with a DLSS swapper. That's not what it is. It is not a DLSS swapper. So definitely don't think that it's going to just switch any game to whatever uh, you know DLSS version you want. Now, if we look at what they said, I mentioned this in the last video, in the table, checkmark donates that a game or app has native support for DLSS feature. That means it's already in the game and you do not need the swapper, I, I or you do not need the over, override. This is not a DLSS swapper, it's just for it. Anyway, we're using Red Dead Redemption 2, and as you see, we have our model for, oops, <laughs> That's that's my overclocking or underclocking and underbolting. Um, you see here we have super resolution and then we have DLAA. So those are the two things that we will have for this game. Uh, we don't have reg regular check marks anywhere, but as you see, the model preset for Red Dead Redemption. Right now I am on E, which is the old CNN model, and then we have F which is also one of the old CNN models. So we're gonna go ahead and set those and we're gonna go in and check the game. We're using the ultra performance uh, that they give us here. And obviously this game does not have uh, frame generation. So let's go ahead and check out the CNN model uh, E. <laughs> Very sorry, we will actually be using the model preset F here as now this is now this is kind of one of the newer uh, versions. It's I think it's 3.8, but if you look at uh, Destructoid, they kind of gave us an idea because Nvidia did not give us what we have for all these. But the baseline transformer is J, so if you're using J or K, you're definitely going to be using the new um, models. Now the F should be giving us the C and M model. The E is the most used um, one that we've been seeing. So. Going to F is a little bit uh, janky, only because uh, most of the games were not using the F model and they were using the e, e model. All right, we are currently using the old CNN model now. I think I accidentally said we were gonna be using uh, preset J, but that's not correct. Um, so we're using the old CNN model. And this one, yeah, we can definitely see that it isn't that bad. I'm just going to walk down through this way, and hopefully we can get the same later on. But yeah, this is uh, it's not bad. It's definitely, uh, like, I have noticed most, like, in the trees and water that uh, when the preset model is not as, you know, the new transformer model, anyway, I should say. But, like, uh, there's a lot that's not that much noticeable. 
I mean, if you're just playing and just doing your thing, I don't think you're going to notice that much of a difference in between the, the ones. <laughs> because we have, like, you know, some decent DLSS already in the game. It's the water, I think, in my opinion, that it really starts uh, showing the differences. And my horse is following me. But, yeah, uh, the anti-aliasing is definitely better in the newer models. And... There hasn't been that much ghosting, really, in this one. Like, as I move around here, you can see we're not getting that much ghosting, which we would see in the, uh, we wouldn't see in the newer versions. But, you know, around the edges of my character, you know, the anti-aliasing definitely is not as good as it could be. And I think they do have some work to do with uh, games like Red Dead Redemption, which this one is an older game, you know. So you got to think of that as well. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the new model and see how it goes. Oh, damn. Oh, what the heck? Well, I was trying to get the, uh... <laughs> I just got hit by a freaking deer. Oh, okay. Well, I've been trying to uh, get the same uh, spot here that we were in. And, of course, the uh, clouds are always changing. So it's hard to get that. And then one time when I came in, it was raining. So I'm going to try to get to noon again where there is some sunshine and not about to rain. <laughs> All right. We are now in the uh, preset K model, which is the latest. So if you choose latest, you have the K model because you don't have it as an option to select down. It just the latest is the K model. And yeah, I don't know how many days I've gone ahead here just trying to get the same uh, weather and time. So I've been trying to sleep till noon and then set it as is. But yeah, uh, the new model, definitely better anti-aliasing. Um, it's not as noticeable as I'd like it to be, like we were doing with uh, Icarus. Icarus, there was a huge difference between the models. And now in here, it's it's not as much. I mean, maybe when I look at it, you know, a little bit more, my main thing where I notice it is like I was saying, is in the water. The water definitely looks better in a lot of spots, but then you know, you have the sun that will go out of the way and mess up everything. <laughs> but yeah, the anti-aliasing itself, uh, even on, you know, the horse and everything, is definitely better when we're looking at it this way. If I... Oh, I didn't want to do that. No. <laughs> I'm still not used to the controls of this because I haven't played the game in so long. But, yeah. Looking at, you know, how much... Uh, Anti-aliasing is around my character itself in this mode is definitely better. And I kind of wish the sun wouldn't have gotten uh, eaten up there. But it's still very, very good. I think that, you know, uh, the new Transformer model is definitely doing some wonders. And I know, like, some games it's not going to work at all. Um, there's, there's a few out there that it's supposed to be working and it's still giving the unsupported even after the reinstall but there might be something in your drivers that you have to do a clean install of your drivers to get it to actually work and i really can't uh you know state on that only nvidia could but uh it, they, it's been working for most but if you're seeing that it's unsupported in most cases it's just because it has a check mark there and it's not supposed to work it's not supposed to be uh, you know, DLSS swapper. Uh, it's not meant to replace that, which I know a lot of people were hoping for. But yeah, it's mostly just to override games that don't already have it supported and that they have themselves whitelisted. And that's what that uh, list is about, where they uh, whitelisted all them games to be able to use the uh, the swapper, the ones with the MB-T and MB-U that gives you the option for upgrading. So yeah. Great game, and I have definitely been playing it again <laughs> because, yeah, we have the new model. Um, I'm able to use DLAA, and uh, I get around 60 FPS. Sometimes I'll go a little bit over, but I think I've been getting better frames with the new model with a uh, performance uh, preset, and it does look better than it did before. 
Um, I guess just for SMGs, let's go ahead and check out the DLAA with the new Transformer model. All right, we are now on DLAA. Everything is, you know, mostly maxed out. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, in the DLA model, we definitely see a great amount of the anti-aliasing. But as you see, I'm at like 57 frames per second. It's definitely taking a toll on this uh, GPU. We're in the RTX 4080 with the i7-14700K, and it definitely, definitely uh, can't keep up to keep the 60 FPS in this mode, which, I, I mean, it's playable in, in most situations. If I'm just uh, couch gaming, doing whatever, six, you know, getting over 60 FPS is not that big of a deal, but if I'm, you know sitting at my computer and like actually trying to get extra frames and play that way. Yeah. I, I'd rather have the over 60, but yeah, this is, uh, this one is definitely way better than, uh, you know, the performance bone and everything, much more detail on my character, more details on the water itself. And, you know, especially the grass and everything that is where I, I see it the most. It looks great, though. Definitely looks great. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and do the DLAA model as well, just so we can see that. Because, like, everything that they put into this new update looks really good. But, yeah, it definitely has its downfalls. Like, uh, I run into the memory issue. I have to change the power of my GPU or I have to restart my computer sometimes. And, yeah, that is a, that is a pain with Red Dead Redemption um, because I just don't have the time to sit there and constantly reboot and sometimes i'll be like ah oh, let's play a different game but you know when you want to play you want to play you know so hopefully they will fix the uh drivers a little bit more because i think in my own opinion the drivers is causing a lot of crashes out there and if you have an instance of it let me know in the comments anyway that is all we're going to do for this video today make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming